everyone. Welcome to CT Style. I'm Sarah Cody in for Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Lovely to have you here today, yeah, Sarah. You. It's fun. Before we start the show, we have to give a big birthday shout out to Sue Farrell, my girlfriend Alexa's mom. Sue is so nice. Sue. I met Sue. We, we love Happy Sue. Birthday. Our producer Joyce, Joyce says love you too. Yeah. And it's just brownie points for me too. <laughs> so maybe we'll weird. mention it a couple more times throughout the show. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sue. Yeah, happy birthday. Uh, and, and speaking of love, how much we love Sue, uh, love is in the air today on the show because mm -hmm. we are talking to a Connecticut guy who made his own dating app. He's a Yukon grad. Then we're talking to Lisa Antonekia about yep. all things weddings. A wedding expert. Those uh -huh. great baskets that I always use, yeah. you know, out in the ladies' room or in the hotel rooms or whatever with all the stuff you need yes, when you're at a wedding. weddings. Very important yeah. stuff to have. But before we get to that, we got to talk about what everyone's buzzing about oh, yeah. here. Game of Thrones. Today's dish is all presented by our friends over at Stone Academy. So there's a petition yes. that over 400,000 people have signed that say that they want an episode refilmed because they were unhappy with it. I think it's about the whole season, isn't it? I mean, yeah. people are unhappy with this yeah. final season. And as of now, we're getting updates from producer Joyce. This is just it 450,000 people who've signed this petition? Yeah, 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 look at that. 453. Check that out. Okay. Yeah, the number's right there. We wow. Just, we don't have our glasses on, that's why. But it's crazy. <laughs> Definitely don't have I, my glasses on. A lot of people were complaining that yes. at the beginning of the show, it was beautiful writing, and right. it kind of went throughout all the different areas of the show, and now it's just huge battle scenes, and everyone's getting killed, and it's, just, it's right. not what they expect. But I think what it is is you get so invested in a show, you mm -hmm. have expectations. It's kind of like a relationship. Like, you go into it, you have expectations, and if that person doesn't provide what you think they're going to provide, you're not happy. Well, you and I were talking about it. It was sort of the same reaction to like the final episode of Lost. Right. Or the final episode of Seinfeld. I'm dating mm -hmm. myself. I'm going back. But no. they never quite live up to what you expect. You expect. But I mean, think about this. Put this in perspective. I mean, this is a woman here who's out doing news stories just about every day. Imagine you come back and they say, eh, we don't really like that one. Go redo it. <laughs> Go do it again. The amount of time, effort, and money right, to right, right. reshoot that. It's not going to happen. Petitioner, no, not, I don't that's think. crazy. The amount yeah. of money they're going to spend. But I guess the petition is just a statement. True. A statement about quality and whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, mean, I thought you were going to make fun of me because how could I, I make watch fun of you? Every how could show. I? I love watching TV and mm -hmm. I don't watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, which blows my mind because you know, are a superhero nerd. I You're am. all about it and you don't Watch Game of Thrones. That's what every, this has Sarah Cody written all over. It should be like <laughs> Game I, of Thrones, Sarah Cody. You, I, I gotta get on it then, no. and then I'll start complaining. Please. When I catch oh up. no! Don't yeah. don't complain. We've we've already heard enough. Some people are complaining about these new baby names. Yeah, There's right. uh, the top list, and funny enough, a lot of people have been naming their kids after Game of Thrones characters, right. uh, which most of them get killed off or turn to be evil. So, yes. uh, but bottom line, don't name your kids after no. mystical characters. But we have <laughs> the top list of baby names for 2019. They're a little. Unique. I kind of like them. So Posey for a girl and Milo for a boy. They take the number one spot on the list of top baby names. And these are the girls right here. So it's uh, Posey, Isla. Maybe Isla. Uh, oh, like yeah, Isla, Isla Fisher. Okay, all right, right, right. <laughs> or Isla in, in my world. In Game of Thrones, it's Isla. He's very suave and Yes, yes. Olivia, which is more traditional. Yeah. That's, that's very pretty. Aurora is very nice. Yep. And Maeve. I've heard more Maves recently. The boys are Milo, Jasper, Atticus, mm. Theodore, and Asher. Now, my name is Sarah. My kids are Sam and Ben. It's like the common name family. Right, pretty but basic, it's, just normal. It's not exactly like Ryan's all that nah, exotic either. These names, though, they seem like you have to you have to be like a character in a fiction book to be yeah, one be of like those names. Like an Atticus. Really Imagine special, your kid going true. to school saying, oh, this is, I'm Atticus <laughs> here. There's a lot to live up to like, with a name like Atticus that is or crazy. Isla. Yeah. True. Or Mick. Or Mick's Mick. a very unique <laughs> right. name. Right? That's right. So Maroon 5 sings the song Moves Like Jagger, but they may need a sequel called Moves Like Jagger after heart surgery. Yeah, because this... <laughs> I think he's moving just fine. Look, Look at, at that. that. It's crazy. So just weeks after undergoing this procedure to replace a heart valve, the Rolling Stones frontman Mick Jagger posted this video on Twitter, mm -hmm. moving and grooving. It's mm -hmm. a 22-second 22 uh, 22 video. He's 75. Wow. All right, and the Good Stones had him. to cancel the tour because of his heart yeah. surgery, but I think he'll be I back. I think they're already rescheduling, and that was the mm -hmm. point of this video, right? Yeah, so to Mick announce is, that. Yeah, Mick is looking good. Do you want to recreate that video? <laughs> Should we get up and do a little? I don't. A little? Oh, no. no? Yeah, you can do uh, it. No. There no, you go. Right. Our producer's moves, yelling at us. Moves like Christopher. No, you don't want that. That's <laughs> not. <laughs> That'd be like Urkel moves, yeah, I feel Oh, like. thank you. Yeah, let me hike my <laughs> pants up a little bit higher, Sarah. <laughs> Very Sorry. flattering. Yeah. Well, it's only May, but we're already thinking about the Big E. How is that for a transition? Ooh, how about that? The Big <laughs> E. Already talking about it, I guess. They announced their concert list for 2019. It's a diverse list this year. The singers have uh, the voice Bryn Cartelli, 
who is, I believe, a Massachusetts native. Okay. And also uh, Rockers Bowling for Soup. I don't Haven't know heard them. that name in quite some time. Yeah. So that's coming around in September, so we got plenty of time. But on our News 8 app, we have the full list of who's coming there. And also on our website, we have the list of the concerts coming to the Xfinity Theater, Sulab Nation. Right, cool. So.